Hello students. Now we'll solve the third question of exercise 2.2. And first of all, in this video, we'll solve the first five parts. So this says that first of all we have to multiply this number. Then if it is reducible to its lowest form, we'll convert it in its lowest form. And at last we'll write it in mixed fraction. So first of all we have to multiply these numbers. So we'll multiply numerator with numerator and denominator with denominator. So 7 is the numerator and 3 is the numerator. So it will be 21 upon 5. Now it cannot be turned into its lowest form. So then we'll convert it in mixed fraction. This simply means 21 upon 5 means that 21 divided with 5. So 4 is the quotient, 20 and 1 is the remainder. Now, how to write this? We write this by shifting one place each of the following. So we'll shift each of the following by one place and that too on the left hand side. Now how? When we write a mixed fraction, the first thing that you should keep in your mind is that the denominator will remain the same. That in our answer, the denominator will have 5. Now remains this place and this place. Now we shift it in anti-clockwise direction. Means that when we write this, we'll shift 1 here, 4 will be shifted in the place of 5, and 5 will be shifted in the place of 1. Now, as I told you that 5 will be shifted in the place of 1, so 5 comes here. 4 will be shifted in the place of 5, so 4 comes here and 1 will be shifted in the place of 4, so 1 will come here. And this is how we write a mixed fraction. So, now we we'll move on to this question. This means we we'll multiply 4 upon 3. It cannot be reduced to its lowest form. So then we we'll write it in mixed fraction. Now you know how to write it in mixed fraction. I am writing the answer directly. There will be 3. 3 should be multiplied with 1 and then 1. This simply means that if we have to convert it back again to its improper fraction, this means that first of all we multiply this number with this and then we'll add what comes after multiplying this number with this. So what I mean is, first we multiply 3 with 1, 3 1 times is 3, then we'll add this number to what comes. 3 comes, so we'll add 1 to it, that will be 4. And in that denominator it remains 3 only. Here it will be 12 by 7. And in the mixed fraction it will be 7, 1 and 5. So 7 1 times is 7. 7 plus 5 is 12. And 12 upon 7. Similarly it will be here. It will be 10 by 9. And that will be 1. 1 by 9. And in the last part it will be 8 by 3. So the answer will be 3, 2, 2 by 3, which means 3, 2 times 6, 6 plus 2 is 8, 8 in the numerator and 3 in the denominator. Remaining 5 parts will solve in the next video. Thank you.